In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to convert gallons to kilograms using density. This problem is from Active.com, and at the end of the video, I'll demonstrate how to put the answer into the Active app. The problem reads, a fuel tank holds 22.3 gallons of gasoline. If the density of gasoline is 0.8206 grams per milliliter, what is the mass in kilograms of gasoline in the fuel tank? All right, so here we have the problem in the active app copied into our um, whiteboard. And we'll need a couple of conversion factors to work this problem, okay? I've looked up this information, that 3, that 3.78541 liters is equal to 1 gallon. All right, we know that 1,000 milliliters is 1 liter, and 0 0.8206 grams is 1 milliliter for this particular gasoline formulation. Now, if you're working a different density conversion problem, you'll need to use the density given to you or a density that you can look up from your references so that you'll have the correct conversion factor for your density. We also know that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, okay? So now we're ready to work the problem. We're starting with 22.3 gallons of gasoline. Now we'll use the next conversion factor. To use a conversion factor, we want to put the term that we want to cancel on the bottom. So we're using our top conversion, conversion factor. So one gallon goes on the bottom and 3.78541 liters goes on the top. Now gallons cancels and we have liters. Next we'll use the milliliters to liters conversion factor. Uh, 1,000 milliliters is one liter. So now we can cancel liters and our units are in milliliters. Next, we'll use our density conversion factor. For our density, 0 0.8206 grams is one milliliter. And again, that's for our particular gasoline formulation. All right, so now milliliters cancels and we're left with grams. Next, we'll use the kilograms to grams conversion factor. We put grams on the bottom so it cancels and 1,000 grams is one kilogram, okay? grams cancels. Now to work this problem, what we'll do is we'll multiply everything on the top, okay, and multiply everything on the bottom, and then we divide the top by the bottom. My final answer is 69.3 kilograms. Now we'll go ahead and enter that into the active app. All right, our starting amount is 22.3, and that is gallons. Next, we put in our first conversion factor, 3.78541, 3.785 here, liters is one gallon. Notice that gallons cancels. Now we'll add a factor. Next we'll use the milliliters to liters conversion factor. We need to cancel liters, so we put that on the bottom. One liter is 1,000 milliliters. Now sometimes active will put 10 to the third in for 1,000. That's the same thing. Next we add a factor and we put in 0.8206 grams is one milliliter. All right, notice milliliters cancels and now our units are in grams. We'll add a factor and next we put in one kilogram is 1,000 grams. All right, now grams cancels and we have our units in kilograms. Now we'll add the answer. Our answer is 69.3, all right, and our units are kilograms.
Right, and that is our final answer. If we choose show answer, we see that it is correct.